Well, what a lovely day. And John's busy. Cleaning, aren't you? Yeah, just I, doing my uh, water change on the Sunday. I did say last night, I wasn't nagging. Oh, the jump guards need to clean. <laughs> <laughs> You're good at cleaning, John, as well as everything else. Cooking, yeah, building ponds. I won't say any more, John. Yeah. They can guess. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's early Sunday morning. Jeff. Well, I know, but it's sunny and it makes me feel all happy. I'll say something else then. I think we need to stop there, don't we? Yeah. Let's just concentrate on the pond. <laughs> yeah. You're cleaning it really well. Oh, it's... Sky's checking on you. Just getting the crap off and I'll uh, go over it with a decent clock. Yeah. So, all the water checks are okay? Yeah, I did them yesterday. I was all... Yeah, I did there's, Like the other night, we, we were saying, oh, there's a few resting on the bottom. So we've checked them all. We've scraped, there's nothing there. But they generally want to have a rest, don't they? Yeah, Otherwise, there, have been, there were seven of them on the bottom yesterday, but say, later on in the day, they were up swimming around. So. Yeah, but we expect them to keep swimming round and round uh, yeah, for our enjoyment. Right. So I suppose they have to rest sometimes. As long as you do all the checks and that, yeah. And there's nothing, nothing no, they're wrong. Okay. They're just having a rest, aren't they, John? Like yeah. really, you should. Yeah, that's it. I you a long time dead, isn't it? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, don't. Anyway, everything's looking good in the garden. Yeah. As I'm stood here, I might as well uh, look at the uh, the flowers coming out. But I'll tell you what. The pond water's really good. So you probably know we get it from our decking pond. We put it in a water butt. And uh, yeah, everything that's coming up there, lovely. Got some more gardening to do today. Never starts, we've got to cut the lawn. Our irises though, they're coming up lovely. Sky, you can go indoors. We do have a bowl of water for you. It is clean water. I put clean water in every day. Yeah, the irises are coming up lovely. And all the plants from last year in these tubs, they're all from last year. So I've only had to put a few pinks in. And our rhododendron, that's coming up lovely. Really lovely. So I um, haven't sorted out down here the slabs and we thought we were going to put gravel and I thought no because Sky runs around she'd slip. So I think we're going to have to pave this curve. As you can see, um, well you can't see there because they're under the soil but um, I've got the French beans there. I've got the peppers. I'm going to have to feed the uh, toms I think. Always something to do in the garden. Always, never stops. And Koi are doing really well in here. They seem to, to be a lot more friendlier than they were. See through the net there, swimming around. And they're getting quite big as well. So they seem good and the iris as well. We're going to have to thin them out eventually because um, we've got so many. So instead of gassing, I oh, fancy sitting down here really and just relaxing. Um, I think I better get on. Well, I'll go and get a cuppa. So uh, see you later. Good morning. Who are you talking to? Me? No, the world. Oh, <laughs> hello. I'm just doing the uh, doing a mug for one of the uh, YouTubers. YouTubers. Yeah. 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 So just sorting it out on the computer. Yeah, you just obviously you get the design, whether it's they send it to you or they you take it off of their YouTube site. And you download it onto your computer and then you upload it onto this program and you bring it onto here and then you resize. So that's what you do, you just I'll shall run you through it. Just resize it and then you duplicate it. 
obviously you want one design for each side of the mug so that's duplicated and then you go on through them to produce it and that's on your sheet of paper which goes into your sublimation printer that's sublimation paper by the way it's not not your normal paper but it actually takes the dye same as the mugs they're not just normal mugs so that's on there and then what you have to do is mirror it so you have to reverse the image so when it prints out and then you put it onto your mug it brings it back to how it was otherwise all your words would be back to front and everything and then you continue and then you just send it to the printer and that prints it out so I'll do that and I'll get back to you in a sec well I'll just quickly oh. show them what stand up model John model oh so this what? is another one of John's designs oh this one I was doing yesterday the other day wasn't it turn around right John we've got to take, <laughs> we've got to take you outside oh cool it was quite you look very slender in it John there we are right not yet that's it that's it turn this way no, the other way. The other way. He's not very good as a model. How many ways do you want me to turn? I want to look at your back, not oh. your face. Oh, look at that. Look at that glistening in the sun. <laughs> so, um, like, right. like everyone's got their logo, lo logos, which is good for the well, YouTube yeah. channel, but why not have some extra t-shirts? I have different, different things. Yeah, and designs on your back. Yeah. Anyway, we'll get back right. to you. So. We've got the designs all printed out. Then you've got your mug. Um, so these are sublimation mugs, so they're coated to take the print. And then you just centralize your mug. Place your design on there and you tape it. And you'll like this bit. Here's one I prepared earlier. <laughs> <laughs> wow! That, that that is that the actual customer's mug. So I'll, I'll print that off. Yeah. Then you can have a look. So it's all prepared and ready. It's good fun doing, isn't it? Too. Yeah, but it is. There's more to it than people think. Yeah, we've had to have a lot of practice. You we? know, it, it, it's not just an instant thing, is it? Nah. And this is. I set this up, it runs at um, 190 degrees. So when you put it in, the temperature drops, obviously, because the mug's cold. So the temperature drops to about 170. Put your mug in, close it, start the timer, and then it's got to go back up to 190 degrees. Then it does your countdown of 180 seconds. So that's three minutes. So usually, in theory, it takes about nearly five minutes to do. So we just wait for it to... Uh... So John will now sing you a song. <laughs> John will not sing you a song. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry, Vince. I won't get my sax out. Get your way out. <laughs> saxophone. Oh, sax saxophone. Yes. Right. That's so now done. that's beeping. So if you put the mug in. just make sure the designs are all covered and then you just do your timing so see, see how it's dropped down to look 155 four, three, it's dropping still then it'll settle and then start to come back up once it gets back up it'll start the timer off right we're just counting down now about 20 seconds to go it's on 191 degrees fluctuating 14 13 12 so we're just going to count down the alarm will go off just tells you when it's done when it's finished cooking but it is real hot there we go so by right so that should be all done you just peel off the tape. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You can smell the heat, can't you? You can. Get rid of this bit. I'm coming back, I'm coming back. Shut up, dog. <laughs> uh. And then you just peel a 
And there's your design. Oh my goodness. And then we've got the same on the other side. Because it's obviously two sided. You can have the wrap arounds where it goes picture goes right round. Yeah. So if you want a picture of your of your favourite fish or your pond or whatever. Or garden even. Or your garden, you can do a wrap round. Whatever. And it'll go right round the, the mug. Yeah. So there we go. Wow. Keep it still. Sorry. That's it. It's great, isn't it? It's right, isn't it? Yeah. So, that's how, yeah, so it's done. Yeah. Oh, while we're here, quick thank you to Vince. When we done his mugs, he gave us the uh, honour of having the first one. And it is an honour, Vince. He, he said you, you keep the first one of the Mark II version of the mugs, the ICU mugs. Yeah. And so we got her hanging up, Vince. That means a lot to us. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. So yeah, we're chuffed with that. Yeah. Looks good up there, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. We're just going to hang our, our mugs up there. <laughs> yeah. We're going to go right across the window. He, he says, hopefully, he's got all the mug. I've got all the hooks waiting. Look. Oh, look, he's planning it. <laughs> I'm, I'm planning ahead. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it's thanks for that, Vince. Yeah, great. it's lovely of you. Yeah. So, um, we we'll go and get a cuppa now. Yeah, we'll use a mug, shall we? Yeah, I think so. Oh, it did, yeah. <laughs> well, what a lovely Thursday. It's so warm here on the Isle of Wight. Uh, we had to put some treatment in the pond last night. Floops. So we lost a little butterfly. She was on the bottom a week ago, so we kept checking her, doing the scrapes. There was nothing at all on her. She'd only, she must have only just died last night because she was still a lovely colour. Got her out, scraped her. Wow. There was absolutely loads on her. Couldn't believe it through the microscope and you saw them. So John chucked the treatment in last night. They didn't like that. Um, especially on their uh, scales and that. They hate it, don't they? So it was sad losing that one, but it seems to be the thing at the moment. Anyway, the treatment's gone in. So, oh, let's go and see John. I was just telling them, John, about the butterfly. Mm. Yeah, sad. Yeah. She's been down on the bottom for a, a week or so. I know. I so told them we did the checks. Her, but, uh, yeah. She seemed all right yesterday. Yeah. In the morning, she was swimming around, as I said to you, didn't I? Yeah. And then I suppose it happens in threes, doesn't it? It does. We lost Ruby, we lost the butterfly up there, and then we've lost someone. So, as so, you can see, John's been working away in here. That's the way it seems to be. Are you going to come Fruits. out? We're going to talk around the garden pond. Are you coming out? Yeah. <laughs> I think he stays in there to get away from me, actually. It's nice and peaceful in there. Anyway, back around the original garden pond. All the flowers are coming out nice and uh, looking all right. And John's got plans for this area. He's on his way. Ah, yeah. It's nice to have all that structure gone over the top of the pond. Yeah. Well, what I thought, we make like a little Tory gate there. Yeah, just yeah. here, right there. Just here. See where those little pots are? Yeah, a Tory, little Tory gate, only about that big. Yeah. And then we'll have an acer, red acer. Yeah, I mean, we'll you look. this in and put some irises and that in there. Sort of close it in a little bit. Yeah. But make a little bit sort of Japanesey. Because sort of this thing. plant over here, just by John, sorry, John, it, you oh, think, that. oh, it's fine, but look, it's rotten. Yeah, it just snaps bits off. It, it. it snaps bits off, so we'll let yeah. it have another yeah. summer. Yeah. So we thought if we put a lovely. Um, Red ice on it. Yeah, there, so it goes over the and pond. And we're trying it over the pond. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I said, we've got someone who's going to have a few of the fish out of the big tank over there outside mm. the studio mm. so I said maybe we'll transfer these into that one and put the nice ones out of there into here yeah get the water clear put when we do that decking pond mm. there's a big pressure filter in there quite a, a big 15 15,000 litre one yeah well, this, put this... that on here and that should 
maintain the water then. This was our original yeah. pond, we started off doing it all. Yeah. And of course we've got this nice bench here. And it is a nice area, sat down looking at the pond. And it just seems a shame, you know, not to um, get yeah. the water back. I yeah, think it'd be get, nice, don't you? Get that on there, we'll get the... Uh, we've got a good UV over there as well, we can put on it. Mm. And just get the water clear and have some nice fish in there. I mean, this is like, um, I don't know what it is, like an ivy. Anyway. We it, pulled that up from over there when we pulled that uh, tree out, didn't we? Yeah, and we just planted it, but it, it goes well, doesn't it, with the irises? It's starting to take off now, And the other aces coming on here. All these flowers have come up from last year. Yeah. So with the irises and everything, as John said, in the corner over there, um, it look nice with oh, an acer. Oh, that, yeah. yeah, coming over. Yeah, Acer there and some irises in there, just to sort of close it in a bit. Originally, we got this, this metal fence in naturally because of my grandson, but also for Sky, so it's staying. But I like it, mm. but we just thought we'd um, change yeah, it a maybe bit. Maybe straighten it up a little bit. Yeah, it needs straightening. Maybe we could bring it up to here. Yeah. And then just a small angle. Because down on the ground, we got the roots from that yeah. tree, you see. So if we could bring... Take the single one to here. Yeah. And just have a small single there so it comes straight and then that Yeah. Way. So change just change it around. But over you know, over the far end there it's getting cozy with all the plants, isn't it? Mm. And it yeah. is, is it is nice sat there. So in do an that evening. Tory gate and we'll get some more uh, statues and things and yeah. whatever to go in there. And uh, the heron hasn't been back. And this plant here, I'm going to have to prune it at the end of the season. It does lovely um, white flowers. Yeah. It's like an apple blossom. Yeah. But in the winter, it looks like an old stick. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then we're, oh, John, you can trim that. <laughs> yeah. You're good at trimming, aren't you, as well? Yeah. Shape that up, that bush. But it's more like a patchwork, isn't it? Get the flowers in and... And it is a nice area to sit. So, going back to the veg. <gasps> the French beans, they're coming out. Look, they're coming out. They're saying hello. Like last year we had loads. And then the peppers. Toms. And I'm waiting for the, we won't be yet, the cabbages and the um, cucumbers. And here I've got to sort out this wild rose. Got to pin it up around the um, archway. And my tom tom. No, they're not tom toms. What am I saying? My strawberries. <laughs> oh dear, they're hanging out a bit. I think you. you think you usually put straw, don't you, on the base? Really? Wait, I just get inside. The, well, I won't get inside. I won't fit in it. But uh, there's some strawberries there. And if we go, if we go along, see, just there. It's our first time growing strawberries so yeah I think you're supposed to put stroy, stro, stroy? straw on the um, on the pot for them to rest on but you know first time ever so and I've got to stain this deck in the same colour as the main deck in I've got to put my mint in especially for the gin and tonic and I've got to do the herbs up here so, still got those to put in. I better put them in quick. The time's getting on. And then John's going to think about um, doing the project on here, making it a deeper pond. We will need to thin the irises out because they're getting really thick, but I've got plenty of places I can put them around the garden. They're so strong. And they, you know, they fill up an open gap a bit. So... But, oh, there they are, they're down there. You don't see a lot of these ones. They're very um, private fish, these ones. But, you know, we come up to them, of course, but maybe it's because we're always down on the main pond. But um, all the plants seem to be keeping well. Hydrangea, that's getting really big. That one and this one, they were here when we moved in. So we just built the decking around it. And the irises are doing well in this pond, about a tank. And these are getting quite big. 
but eventually we could always use it as a um, quarantine tank. Yeah, Glossy Coy said about it. That's a good, really good idea for uh, G to do that because we got rid of all our inside tanks when we um, fitted it all out in the um, studio. So that is a brilliant idea. So we can always use this out one side one for actually quarantine. It's really warm here now. Gets we get full sun in this garden all afternoon. All the plants they're all coming out. The pond water's brilliant though. At night we do um get some out of the water butt and put it on all the flowers so they're coming out really nice let's go and see how these guys are so yeah we've lost a few few little ones it's so annoying but as john said the one that died the other night um we checked it a week ago for, and there was no flutes at all but I couldn't believe what I saw with the microscope. Oh my goodness. They were oh, wiggling. There must have been about 20 of them. So straight away we put the uh, treatment in. So fingers crossed everything will be okay. We were lucky last year. We actually didn't. We only had I think one or two lots. So it was really good last year. But they all seem quite calm today. Anyway, let's go back over to the studio. Hey John. Yeah. I'm still filming. I was calling calling the strawberries tomatoes. No, they're Dave. Oh, sorry, got it totally <laughs> wrong then. They're not strawberries, they're Dave. Yeah, Jill picked one yesterday. S strawberry and ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> one little tiny little <laughs> strawberry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you've been having fun in here, haven't you? Yeah, I've moved the um, embroidery machine down for the time being, and I've bought up the the mug press, the double mug press, and the latte cup press, and the hat press. Uh, concentrate on that for the moment. We just we'll go over to the embroidery stuff later on. We'll play with that in the summer, a uh, winter, yeah. sorry. Yeah, maybe we could summer. take that one indoors and do that. You could actually yeah. do that in the kitchen. Yeah, put it on the table, dining room table. Yeah. Yeah, just doing a few of these at the moment for the like the scooters yeah. coming over. Steve Marriott. That's a good one of him. Yeah, he's a quality bloke. Yeah. And if you go across. Mm. To Wayside Print and Design, you'll see lots of different mugs, koi mugs, and yeah. t-shirts. I'm just doing some at the moment for the mob, the, the scooter rally. Look, it's like uh, that's good. Obviously, it's back to front because yeah. it's got to be printed. But yeah. it's just the words, mods, sixties, Lambrettas, blah blah blah. So that's what we're doing at the moment, just working on that. Yeah, you got a few orders to make up, haven't you too? Well, I've been playing around with the um, designs this morning. I've yeah. been speaking to one of the YouTubers about our design. Mm. Um, we're getting there with it. It's it's a little bit difficult. Because mm. you need the right um, files to do the printing and stuff, but we're getting there. Yeah, some of, some of the logos are very detailed and layered. That's the thing. It's not just um, you stick it on the front and heat it, is it? You've got to no, layer it more, up. The more detailed they are, they're layered. Yeah. So it makes it a lot more difficult to... It does. Like Jill says, it's not just a case of put it on there and print it. It's no. Because everything's done in layers when you're doing with vinyl, unless you do printable vinyl, which that. we haven't started using yet. No, no, we haven't. But we're going to, obviously. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go and make you a cuppa. All right. All right. Come and have a cup of tea, and we're gonna. Uh, I've got to do the filters on this one. Today. <laughs> yes, thank you for that, Sky. Shush. Well, um, yeah, we're gonna do the filter on this one. This one tends to get forgotten, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we give that a good clean. 
and uh, get back to you later on. Right, so that's all. Hey, John. Can it? What? Where's my tea? Oh, sorry, it's, it's in there. Is I it? made you one, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did make one for you. Right, I'll let you off. Sorry, there's some wobbling a bit. I'm just <laughs> constipating. What? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, there is one in there. Oh, is there? Yeah. Oh, I'll let you off then. Thank you. And just very quickly, I know it's not koi related, but the, s <laughs> the sunroom's going up, isn't it? The porch. Oh, the yeah. structure on it. So that's going to be exciting. Yeah, yeah Vince was around the day to do that. Yeah. So, yeah, that's going up. Do you want me to hold it, John? There you can. I'll hold it. I'm getting all over the place here. Right. Um, I'll turn the pump off, but I didn't close it, so it drained it a bit. Oh, yeah. They're hiding at the bottom, aren't they? Yeah, I don't blame them either. <laughs> oh, do you want me to hold it over there? I think no, you just stood here holding the uh, camera. Right. That can go on the uh, plants. It's just fish water out of the filter. Yeah. Anything else I'll put into the into the water butt. Yeah. And you start using it on the plants again. Get your strawberries about the size of footballs. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to take you all over. They're doing all right over there. I'm sure you lot want to see my strawberries, don't you, John? Well, it's better than seeing my plums, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, they're better than your plums, my strawberries. <laughs> oh, look, you can, you can see them poking out. Actually, I might get to have more than one tonight. So, there they all are. Yeah, they're looking healthy, John. And then yesterday I put some herbs, parsley, chives. Um, what else have I got? I can't remember now. I just chucked them in. I thought, wow, they'd grow. It'd be a nice surprise. Sage. And then over here, actually, I better lift it off. I've got some mint growing. It just it protects it from the slugs. The slugs are a pain around here. And um, yeah. I've got some um, some more herbs. <laughs> I should have really of um, put a little stick in with the name on, but it doesn't matter. And the toms are here. I think they need feeding. They do. And look what's happening here: green beans. They're really coming out. I'm gonna have to put a net down there because the pigeons come along. So I don't want them um, eating eating them. But yeah, it's a really nice, uh, nice day. Everything's looking healthy, all the plants. As I said before, all these ones here are from last year. They just came back up, which is really good. Um, all the buds are coming out. All the plants. Looking forward to changing this pond a bit. And making more feature of it because it is nice sat there in the morning for coffee looking at the pond so oh you can see all the um, the green algae look on the waterfall John's going to put a UV on there so we get that water crystal clear if we can so that would be a nice feature and um, all the plants are looking healthy Hey John, no. I've just trodden on something. <laughs> Come here. I have, because I was too busy walking round. I bet everyone lucky can you guess. Got, lucky you've got shoes on then, not Lucky I've got shoes on, it would have gone in between the toes. Anyway, <laughs> going back to the main subject of ponds, uh, the irises, they're all uh, looking healthy. They all come out together actually. They're so easy to, um, plant and grow and transfer to different areas of the garden so um, I'm going to put some more out around the garden so yeah an exciting day especially with the um, sunroom porch out the front really looking forward to that and John yeah. you're busy aren't you? you do two things at once so you're doing the ponds 
the I'm doing the top, but I'm also going to do this mug. Yes. Yeah. Just it's a it's a quickie mug, mug, isn't it? Yeah. You're going to do. So. Yeah. That's uh, that's our name. <laughs> <laughs> There's never enough um, hours in the day, is there, John? Nah. Anyway, Sky's happy as usual. And then we're going to do a few scrapes because uh, we put all the uh, medication in because of that one that died with uh, riddled with flukes. So um, they seem a little bit calmer now. So they will need to be, well, one or two need, need to be scraped just to uh, double check. So it's our second lot of flukes so far. Last year it wasn't that bad at all. I just hope we don't get any more. Or anything else. Anyway, it's going to be a beautiful day. Um, I will try and have a sit in the garden. Do you know what? We've got all this garden and everything, but we never sit still. We don't use the summer house. <laughs> we're either just at this pond here, or we're in the studio now. It's mad. So I invite the family round. Said you've got to come round, and you've got to sit in the garden, get the use of it, um, because. Um, we're always doing something, which is mad. I did restain all the uh, raspberry because it wasn't a proper outside paint, it was an indoor paint. So um, I've stained that, it's satin outside paint and it's a little bit deeper. So I'll just go back down to the main pond because it, um, it was flaking off, it was no good. It, it, it was okay for a short time, but as you can see, it's a lot darker, deeper. So, um, yeah, looks a lot better. A lot tidier. I'll tell you what, though, drive me mad. Look at the cobwebs. I've got a stick I go outside and just go round it all. It's like candy floss. It sticks to everything. Um, just take you back up to what John's been doing. It's like, isn't it? it is, isn't it? Crunchy, yeah. crunchy. I haven't had breakfast yet, actually. Yeah, there no. you go. yeah all done. All, all done. Up and running again. That's good, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. No, that is good. They'll be happy koi again, won't they? Yeah, they'd be nice to get a few out, wouldn't they? We've, we've got rather a lot in there, haven't we? Well, I'll say we'll swap them filters and that over and travel these ponds around and whatever. Yeah maybe next month or something yeah and move them around a bit and then Space them out we've got this pond to sort out haven't we, we yeah. keep talking about it yeah it'll happen yeah can't do it all, all at once can we no i know we're getting there we're getting there you just really the summer goes so quick we've got to sit and enjoy it well that's the we never that's the trouble we don't get we're like blue ass flies we never sit down never get a chance to enjoy what we're doing we really need to sit down and enjoy it all there you go, there you go. What are they doing? Chilling. <laughs> they're not the liveliest of koi, are they? No. They're, Even they're, with breakfast, it's like very slow. So they're chilled, aren't they? Anyway, should we go and get the coffee? Yeah, let's go and have a cup of coffee. Well, I've got my coffee anyway. Oh, Cheers. Where's mine? <laughs> Do you want me to get it for you? Oh yeah, please. Oh. Well, I think it's going to be a lovely day. So I think we need to enjoy the garden. But first of all, I want to enjoy my coffee. Oh, thank isn't he a sweetheart? Oh, thank you. It's like beer, isn't it? Yeah, I don't fancy drinking the beers you drink, yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this episode. Um, go hmm. along to our Facebook page. We've got yeah. over 3,000. We have 3,200 subscribers. There's also um, an offer on there from, oh God, I can't think of it now. I can't get your phone. I can't get your phone. I'll just keep talking. I won't get the sax out and I won't sing and Sky won't knock the camera over. Yes, and go along to our Instagram. I've got 1,500, sorry, I'm watching Sky subscribers now. And also, go along to Wayside Print and Design. Lots of orders going out. Um, if you can help with anything, t-shirts, mugs, caps. Uh, there we go. 
Yeah, if you got if you've got blanket week, go over to Pond Supplies in Essex and use code blanket week twenty, and they give you twenty percent off. That's if you're on Wayside Coy. Well, come along and join Wayside Coy Facebook yeah. page. If you, I mean, if you, you've got blanket week, twenty percent better than nothing, isn't it? It is, yeah. Better than a poke in the eye with a wet fish. So <laughs> I'm just watching the camera. I keep looking down because Sky's yeah. getting very near. Yeah, you can probably hear it. Anyway, we'll see you on the next one. Um, please. Yeah, we'll. Um, Give you an update on the flutes because oh. we got it finishes sun when next Wednesday. Yeah, doesn't it? so we've got to do some scrapes. Yeah, so we'll have to do some scrapes and we'll uh, keep you updated with that. See how that's so, going. So please like, share, and subscribe. Yeah, I interrupted there, didn't I? Slot to get, get a wordy. <laughs> and we'll see you on the next one. See you later. Cheers, John. <laughs>